I was going to make a video about sharing the surplus. It was a good time my neighbor's mowing his lawn. I'm not putting him down, but compared to a lawn, I've harvested. This is just one row of blackberries I have here. Black raspberries on the front road here. I invited all the neighbors to help themselves as they walk by. But I've harvested three, four of these now. I think four of these, enough to make a year's worth of jam for the black raspberry. But around all this, There's stuff like currants, these white currants I just picked this morning. There's some blueberries mixed in and wine berries and yellow raspberries. Let's take a glance through here. There's a gooseberry. Elderberries, new elderberries in there, and the wine berries here, and the yellow raspberries here, golden raspberries. And blueberries, potatoes mixed in, just the amount of food we grow here, but so much of it by being mixed in like this, it's miss. So some of these yellow raspberries are about to fall off, there's a kale next to it, stuff all over the place like that. So now we'll go out back and look below one of the gooseberries I was harvesting this morning. I've already made a bunch of jelly off of it. Here's one here. Just want to show how much it gets eaten by the birds is underneath as well. All right, I'm back. I had to stop there. I got distracted for a minute. I was talking to Melinda. But here's a gooseberry. And even this young one has just got so many on it. They're a really tasty little treat. The raspberries go without saying. There's some red ones I missed over here. So just like I can walk through the yard and eat all that. And there's potatoes mixed in there. And artichoke. Not artichoke, I can't think what that is. So if this little some sort is edible. I better get these yellow raspberries while I'm here. Mmm. So now we'll walk out back, if anyone's still watching, and have a look. I'm not going to name all these plants, but I'm walking by so much food right now. All done in succession, so whether it's fruiting now, like the gooseberries, or the area you want to bury, which won't be ready for another few months. Really getting some nice color now, though. But now we'll go out back here. Can't see into the jungle from here. I'll pause here and we'll go to the deck. Okay, now we're looking down into the backyard. We just looked on that side of the yard looking down through. We couldn't see. This is our annual garden, or a traditional annual garden, surrounded with a food forest. That's down in guilds, and I'll go down below one of the older gooseberries and just show how many berries have, have fallen to the birds. I thought you wanted to say hi. Quieted down since I turned the camera on. Can you see the frog? It's the top of that pot. All right, if you're gonna be quiet. You know what, I'm just going to leave it playing. Have a look around as we walk down. Anything you see you want to know about? Leave any questions. Bumblebee's loving the lavender. I see the gooseberries next to him. And the blackberries. And the black raspberry. And the apple tree. And the cornelian cherry. And the blueberries and the jujube, and the nankang, and the fig, and the hazelnut, and the pear. And I go on like that, I'm not bragging, I'm just showing how this is planted in a forest. 
this is all within the annual garden here. As you can see, there's squash and then shorter layers like these cherries. This is a ground cherry. This isn't about the guilds. This is about the surplus. We were wandering over here. See all the young figs. So that tree is just loaded with figs for us. Next to the apple, which is loaded with apples. Touching the other apple, which all have multiple graphs on them. This having five types in this one itself. And the annual garden. More berries along the edge of it. There's hazelnuts. But down here is one of the older gooseberries. I was going to finish picking it this morning. You can see this one gets more light. And the berries are farther along. There's not a whole bunch left. When we get down here, you see how many are on the ground. All the shell casings. Like eat the inside of the berries out. Like this one hanging here. See they're hanging all over as they get more ripe. The birds get them. The same thing was with that gummy bear. I've got videos of that three, two, three weeks ago, and the ground being scattered below that. And so it's like that all over this yard. So I made a, took a picture this morning talking about some of the functions of this yard. Mm -hmm.